Hello there, it's the Zodiac, and today we're going to be doing an A taste of of a new game. So let's strap in and see what we're gonna get. Veronic. It is it, I'm not sure if I said that right, but it is an interesting game. First off, and I'll probably be cutting most of this, and I will actually be cutting it this time. I had some difficulties with this game get, working with my controller. The, the confirm button did not actually work. I had to use the mouse for that. Sometimes it did work though, which was really weird. It's an interesting difficulty that I did not expect. I'm not sure if it has to do with the fact that it's this game, or if it's because of the fact that I was recording at the time. So yeah, I'm going to... Oh, there we go. We, we got into the thing, we didn't need to cut it, and yeah, look, look at the the character designs. It's, um, mm, bad. It's real bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, look at it. Look at it. Don't look at, don't look at it. Don't look directly at it. It's, it's, uh, mm. Yeah, this is a Dark Souls-like game. It, it, that's explicit. But it is a 2D game, like it's a 2D side scroller instead of a 3D thing, which I, is a problem in my opinion because having it not be 3D kind of reduces. I'll let the game talk here. The sea people are a legitimate thing that may have happened in ancient history, but having your enemies be called the sea peoples with an S and actually doing that is a little squishy. Well, that was an opening, but yeah, my issue with 3D, with with Dark Souls-like games that are just 2D is that a big part of Dark Souls is that you can run from things and hide. You have to have a 3D arena so you can make, take advantage of that. But yeah, let's let's play the game now. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. But yeah, you, you can do dodges and stuff. You can also talk to people. Well, thanks for the advice. And yeah, the, the game is decidedly not very good looking, but I like I like how the light looks at least.
we got some drink. Now we can heal ourselves. Yep, and that's that's basically just the Estes drinking animation. Except it's just normal water. And yeah, now gonna probably fiddle with things to try and, Yeah, there we go. I forget what I did. I recorded this like a month ago. But yeah, our big menu of things that my the button that confirms on my controller doesn't work for. I always appreciate when a game has a paper doll system like that, like this, where it puts the the body up. Uh, sorry about that. That was me fiddling with the controls. But yeah, I do appreciate a game that does a paper doll system like that, where it shows your body and puts all your stuff on you when you put it on. It's a uh, a little unfortunate that the models in this game are what they are, though. It, uh, but yeah, we don't have any helmet. We don't have anything equipped other than the shackles and the torch, and that'll do for now, at least. I do like that they do have nice flavor descriptions for the items and stuff. That's nice. More games need to do nice stuff like that. They're just tiny little details that matter to me. And here are a bunch of skills we can do nothing with. We won't be getting into any of these. Though it's important to consider the backpacks, because those are your magic in this game. Now, the weird thing about the light and heavy attacks that it gives you is that... I don't know which is which. I think I do, but the button that would be for heavy attack is light attack. And the button that uh, out the button that would be heavy attack on the controller is light. It I think it's weird. The controls have problems in this game. And yeah, you can dodge traps. Not like that though. <laughs> I forgot that I died there. I don't know, I didn't forget if I knew like I think. And we start there. I made a little tutorial on what death is. And death basically works the same way that it does in Dark Souls, where if you die, you lose some some stuff. It just kind of floats there, and you gotta pick it up. Yeah, let's see if we can get the dodge right this time. And there we go, we figured it out. And there's our first enemy, a guard, and we can just beat him to death with a torch. And inside this man, we find a reinforced skirt. Finally, some sort of armor. And <laughs> it looks so stupid. I'm sorry, it's so silly looking. But it'll do for now. Like, th that big, that big, uh cod piece looking thing would absolutely dig into your stomach and probably your thighs as well and then enemies can dodge because one of the big things about dark souls is that the enemies are on the same level as you for the most part like the same sort of that they can do things you can I do like some of the imagery, like the scorpion pictures, those are nice. I like scorpions. And yes, there is parrying in this game. It's pretty vital, but it's also easy, so, you know. And here is our parry device, I believe. A shield. Yep, there is our shield, and also a map. The map is not very useful, but it is a map that you can kind of discern if you think about it a little hard. It's... so it, it's reasonable. 
but it's not a perfect map, which is good. And here is our, our bonfire equivalents. A big old statue to Ishtar, I believe. And it takes a bit to get used to the parry timing, but once you ow, once you get it off, it 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 looks nice when you get it off, but it requires getting it off, of course. And there we go. That that's how it looks. It, it's pretty cool. You get a nice flash when you do it. I do appreciate this game is trying at least to have some good mechanics. It's not super put well put together. But it is trying. And of course, regular blocking works how it would in Dark Souls. You get you get hit, you lose some stamina, and on the quality of the shield, you also lose some health. And yes, there is stamina that you have to watch out for. I do appreciate that this game gives you the option to have a little uh, spider sense splash when you're getting close to running out of stamina. That's really cool, honestly. Because it can be hard to notice the tiny little green bar in the corner. It just it is a, a quality of life thing that is super good, actually. Sorry for all the pauses, by the way. I'm feeling a little sick. And hey, we got our first sword. A bronze sword. I like how it's all curvy. This is a side quest. I don't know how to do it. We'll probably find a way to do it eventually. At least... If I were to play this more, we, we won't be finishing it in this video anyway. And yeah, enemies have guards that have shields of their own, and if they have a shield, there's a very, very high chance they'll have to parry them. And enemies that don't have shields can just be beat up pretty easily. Though it is a concern because your hits do not cause hit stun. So you'll have to still be careful of their attacks. Which is a good thing, but also a bad thing, because it feels wrong, but at the same time it it is it it makes sense. You got a hundred and fifty somethings. There we have a little fountain. If you you can fill up your water at a fountain. It only gives I believe two. Yeah, it gives two little uses of your your drink and that is another thing that this game does that is actually interesting it has a weapon triangle of sorts if you're fighting a shield in a spear absolutely block it you cannot you can dodge spear attacks, I think, but you cannot parry them. And then there's two-handed weapons, which you can parry, but you cannot... which you can't parry, but you can dodge. Sorry, I got a little confused there. Sure, I, I don't see why not. Here you go, have some, have some water. And we get a little gem thing. We can't use the gem yet. I feel like we could've. That I, I don't know. A crown of thorns, huh? That is definitely an item, and it gives us less defense, so I'm not going to wear it. I don't 
quite remember what the music sounds like in this game because when I'm recording I have to mute it, but otherwise it I think it's a good it's fine music. It is I I don't remember at the moment. It's a little silly on my part, I admit. There's another shrine to Ishtar. And of course, since this is a Dark Souls like game, if you die, you reach the ball, and at the last place, you, you uh, pray that. And you don't have to parry a shield having person, but it definitely helps because it disrupts their attacks. And makes it so that they can't bring up their shield at random. And or whatever. And up ahead, as this nice man tells us, there's a, a big guy with a big weapon. They can't parry, but they can dodge. And, and attacks that you can't dodge, can't parry, have a red glow around them. Attacks you can't dodge have a blue glow around them. And that's that's a fair system, I think. And there's our big man. Big man brought down. And a ring of Sobek. A ring of endurance. The fact that you get the Ring of Endurance from Sobek is funny for a variety of reasons that I won't say here, because this is a family show. Unless I'm playing a game that is M-rated or higher, then it's, then it's not. I don't remember what the rating for this game is, so I'm hedging my bets. I do like the little little hieroglyphs there showing us the boss that we're going to be fighting in this area. That That's clever, I think. At least to a degree. But hey, look at, look at this big guy covered in, in little pitting scars and uh, has a very tiny head. The Warden. We're gonna have to beat him to get out of here. And he is a boss. <laughs> He's, he's interesting. It's a very simple boss, but it also has the issue of sometimes the game just hits you. You get hit, and there's nothing you can do about it. It is a bit unfortunate. Like, ow. <laughs> and that's probably going to be it for today. Pharaonic is an interesting game, but it's, it's not super good. I, I, I appreciate that they're trying, though. So yeah, and at the end of the game, day, I would say that this game is... A, mm, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.